All right, welcome back to Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. And this is a sneak peek at the TCL Traffic Controller mod. Um, and it's also a test video because uh, the last video quality on my end was fine, but where I delivered it to was not. So this is a, some traffic lights. Um, one, of the, one of the viewers, George, had asked for some help in setting it up. And actually, it, it's very frustrating, but it turned out really cool. You can see the light turn yellow to red. There's the, um, the pedestrian walk. And it's real laggy because everything was local, not on my server. This is on my test world. You can see the uh, left turn arrow going yellow. And then you'll see the traffic light go yellow. And he said, there it goes. And then it'll all go red. So that's a left turn module, a traffic light, and a pedestrian crossing. Uh, these are all connected with uh, DigiLines. The, um, it's a DigiLine power distribution and DigiLines. Here you can see the uh, pedestrian working. As it counts down to seconds, it's going to go to zero, obviously. And then the light will change because it's green for the other direction. Now, anywhere, anywhere that you have these traffic lights, you have to have one of those, either the pole mounted box or the, the box that sits on the ground. And the main thing is that the poles will conduct so the traffic light heads that sits on the poles you're going to give them a code and these are predefined codes and you have to stick with those and they become very important but the digi lines connect the poles all together and to the box and you can see here because i left the ground open um, there's a pedestrian button there's a lot of different things that you could do with this mod um, not just, you know, this is on sensors. The other two examples were on timers. So you can see here the left turn arrow and the light turned red. The pedestrian crossing light is in the walk mode. That's going to count down. And then it'll change. It will change the light set. You can see the other light turn yellow, go to red. And then you can see the other ones go back to green. Now this is a preemptor. These are DigiLine, um, the DigiLine player detectors. So one's a preemptor, and then when you pull up to the next one, that's the actual uh, sensor. And then it will trigger the light to change, as you can see here. So I'm going to the other side now, which is all red. And there's a chicken on top of that one, but there's the there's the preemptor, so it triggers it, and then you pull up, and this it'll actually count traffic, so it it's counting, and it will change, and it's green with the green arrow. So you come over to the box, and this shows the state. There's, I'm going to go more in depth on this, but this shows the state what the lights are in, um, what the turn lane markers are in, what the, what the pedestrians are in, uh, your setup. I just set everything as is here. And you have to set it to, this will, This mod will only work with streets one, streets two, or the roadway mod. So if you're using the streets mod, you're gonna select streets one, or if you're using streets 2.0, you're gonna use streets two, obviously. And that counts the triggers from the detectors or from the push button. And you can see that they have different codes. And these codes I will show at the end of this test clip, but you can see there's channel B, there's channel BP or BT for turn lane, and that's BP for pedestrian. And then this one here is set to detector or preempt B. And then this is detector. Oh, this is whatever, whatever letter that is. 
And if you go to, to the website, you can see how they're all connected, all real pretty, but right there, those are the most important things because that's what you're going to program into those traffic lights and those detectors. So a more uh, in-depth video will be coming. And thank you for watching.